we're going to enter the purchase order we're going to add a new item a new vendor and new customer all as we do the purchase order so we'll go into it here the new vendor is going to be fender so we're imagining that a customer comes into us and says i want this fender guitar we're going to say we've never dealt with fender before maybe we can add them as a new vendor so we're going to go through that request process so we got a, a customer that came in and we're going to go to the new vendor for them to get the guitar they want so fender is the new vendor i'm just going to keep saying that because it sounds cool fender's the new vendor we're going to do a quick ad with them do a quick ad with the new vendor and then we'll tap through this we don't have any let's go with the date what's the date the date's gonna be let's say it's uh 2923 oh, on the date number looks good vendor shipping to okay now we need a new item down here because we never bought a guitar from the new vendor vendor you'll recall that we normally set up our items in the lists and items here but we're not going to do it that way. We're just going to do it as on the fly, as we go, as they say. Hit the drop down. We're going to say new item. It's going to be an inventory item. So that's what we want. I'm just going to call it an SG. Tab, tab, tab. And I'm going to call it a Squire. That's a kind of a guitar, I think. I don't know. So a Squire. We're going to say we bought it. We're just making this up. 168. You can't, I'm not saying this is the actual price or anything of these guitars. And this is the preferred vendor is going to be Fender. And then when we sell it, this is what's going to be populating on the sales forms. Notice we are on the purchase side. Therefore, we're going to be having the cost being used to populate. When we get to the sales side with an invoice or sales receipt, that's when this side will populate at the 244. We're going to say it is subject to tax. That means sales tax. And the account we want is to go to the sales account, an income account when we create an invoice or sales receipt the inventory account will also be impacted on the purchasing side when we buy it not with a purchase order but with the bill or check and then it'll go down when we sell it with an invoice or sales receipt we don't have anything on hand at this point i'll just keep the the current date that this is as of the date that we're entering it i'll just keep that there so we'll say okay and there's our squire guitar so how many do we want we're going to say, let's say 20. I'm going to say 20 of them. So, and then I bought them specifically for the customer of new music stuff. So I'm going to add the customer once again, as we go on the fly, as we're doing the data input tab, quick ad. I'm just going to do a quick ad for new music stuff. So the scenario, new music stuff, a customer came to us asking for 20 Squire guitars which are usually uh, given or, or provided by the, the fender the vendor